and it produces white smoke. So I reported it to NOAA and we'll see what happens. So they call it floating gold or liquid gold. The piece could be worth up to ten to twelve thousand dollars if she can end up selling that. <laughs> exact track 4D, the Weather Authority's secret weapon against severe storms. The most cutting edge weather technology in Northeast Florida and South Georgia. I'm sorry, feces is worth twelve thousand dollars. I was thinking the same thing. I'm like, imagine finding a twelve thousand dollars worth of poop. Poop. Hey. Like that's crazy. That's the next activity. <laughs> All right, let's go, a, uh, let's go searching. This was interesting. I found like a sea cucumber with it. It was this squirmy little thing, you know, whatever on the beach last year. And I realized in some other country, they're worth a lot of money. Mm -hmm. Really? I thought, is it worth it for me to ship it there? So I let it live, you know. Oh. Yeah. What Good if it was you. worth thousands, though? Well, it looks like I lost out because I'm still here. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, I'm loving that it. That is true. <laughs> hey, guys, weather's great today. So we're going to have a little fog. You know, we got to get through that. So look at 501 Riverside, and you'll see. I mean, it's clear right now, and that's great. But uh, as we get through the morning, we could see a little fog out there. And so as we do that, uh, don't worry. Just use your low beams if you're going to get outside and know that it will lift. Okay, so here you go. St. Augustine, Guy Harvey Resort. Uh, you can't see much because it's still early out there, but take a look. And uh, one thing you'll notice at the Jack's Airport, if you have an early flight, oh, you're in good shape. You'll be in great shape to get out there and take that flight. So, Ortega, you're looking good out there as well. I like to give a lot of visuals on a foggy day so that we can show you kind of what to expect. 86 is your forecast high. Our record was 89, set back in 2010. So there you go. Uh, we're not beating a record, but we're certainly uh, going to be, you know, a little warm out there at times. 72 in Mayport already, 66 in St. Augustine, 61 in Jacksonville, and you're in the 50s in uh, McLennie and Lake City. So there you go. Now, as we look at temperatures, you're going to be very mild out there today. Oh, well, this is a neat view. It looks like our graphic kind of froze. It's okay. We'll go to radar. So take a look and you'll see that there's nothing on it. We are very, very much dry and we'll stay dry. Um, fog is going to be the issue this morning. Other than that, we really don't have an issue aside from a rip current or two. Down the coastline, it's a moderate risk. And as we zoom in, you'll see on future track here, not much for us, which is wonderful. You've got a great weekend ahead. I know there's a lot going on, a lot to do. So get out there and enjoy it. As you do, a little bit of cloud cover could be possible. And overall, you know what? A little rain could come in on Monday. It's about a 20% chance. It won't hurt your day. It won't ruin it. It won't do anything crazy. But do want you to know that by Tuesday and Wednesday, more of that rain is certainly possible. Your highs today, take a look. All right, we're going to be at 86 in Jacksonville, 84 in Arlington, 82 in Fernandina Beach, 83 in Nocatee. As we come on down to the coast, I'll show you 80s through and through, low to mid 80s for you on the coast. So it's a really nice beach day, but I want you to remember that rip current risk. Okay, if you go out there, I want you to be careful. And then as we continue to look here, uh, we'll go on up to Folkestone, 87, 88 in Waycross. And as you come on down, Keystone Heights, Stark and Middleburg, on, along with McLean, 85 degrees. Your hourly forecast, 60s, 70s, and 80s for you. Listen, we're getting closer to Halloween, so Bruce and Amanda are so sick of me talking about pu uh, pumpkin carving. I don't know about uh, Aaron and Brianna, but I think they're cool with it, so we're going to talk about it because if you want to carve those last-minute pumpkins, it is the day to do it. Get your porch looking good for Halloween. My forecast is as follows. We've got 70s in there for Monday. I did move us down. We were going to be in the 80s for like a stretch of 80s, but uh, you know what? We are in the 70s for Monday. Tuesday, back to the 80s we go, and lows are in the 60s. We're going to have a gorgeous forecast. Get ready and enjoy it.